make a website in 10 minutes. This is the actual website I made today with Canva. Thanks, Eric. And it literally took me less than 10 minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to Metrics Mule. Now, in today's day and age, it's more important now than ever to actually have a website. Whether you're a business, self-employed, or just a solopreneur, you need to have a website to get your message across. You no longer have to depend on all the technical aspects and be a web designer or a web developer to create innovative and future-proof websites. Canva has a tool that, in my opinion, is incredibly undervalued and underrated, and that's the ability to create and craft your very own websites directly within Canva itself. And not only that, we'll be using AI. To top it off, it's mobile friendly and responsive, and it looks amazing on desktop and on your phone. And what's even cooler about this is that you have all the tools at your fingertips. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in less than 10 minutes. So the first thing you want to do is just go to Canva. And as you get on Canva's homepage, notice at the very top in the menu bar, you actually see on the right hand side, a little circle icon that says websites. Once you click on website, the cool thing about this is now you can see all these certain templates down here at the bottom as you scroll down. So you have them broken down by just all websites, business, portfolio, event, etc. I can hit see all. And now when I hit expand, now look, all of this is directly at your fingertips. So I went ahead and chose this template right here. Now notice on the left hand side, this template actually has a series of website pages in it. So here's my homepage. Anytime I want to add a new one, I could select it from over here on the left hand side. We'll start with the homepage. Now check this out. All all I did over here was just add my logo by uploading my logo in my uploads file over here and then simply just clicking it and dragging it over here. The really cool thing about this is now you can see that this is made with Hey Jen. I'm as real as can be. So this image was actually an image I made in Leonardo AI. After I made it, I went ahead on the left hand side and selected the Hey Jen app integration. So that allows us to have a video on Canva that people can watch. The next thing you want to do is simple. You want to just add some simple text. So I have some text Text right here, you would add text on this web page just like you would anywhere else in Canva. And then you can also notice there's a button right here, learn more. I can actually make this be a clickable link and that's easy to do. All you have to do is just double click it and then this link icon shows up. You could add any external link that you want or you can make it link to any other web page internally. So the home page we have our text, we have an arrow, we have our logo, and then we have this video made in Hey Jen. Now let's move on to the next page. And you can see here my next slide actually says create your own website directly within Canva. And to really make it stand out, use the power of AI like Leonardo AI, Midjourney, and even Hey Jen, like I showed you earlier. Look at this right here. So this is what I actually mean by making your web page stand out with creative AI images generated in any AI tool. There. Now, the next thing is even cooler. You can actually add videos to your site. On the left-hand side, just go to Elements, just type in what sort of video you're looking for. In this case, I typed in AI video and look at any sort of video that you'd like to add. If you find one that's even better, all you have to do is just click and drag it to replace this one right here. This one looks pretty cool. It might stand out. So if I hit on preview and somebody does visit this web page, when I scroll down, check that out. That video does look pretty cool. I might want to keep it. But like I said before, if I'm over here on the left hand side and I see one that looks a little bit better, might stand out or it's pretty crafty, just click and drag it over that one. And then there you go. Let's go ahead and hit preview scroll down to that page and now determine which video we think looks better. Now that one looks pretty cool too. Now this would definitely catch my eye. Pretty cool. I think I'll leave this one in here. So the next thing is use Canva Magic Write, a tool that is very underrated in my opinion. And you could find Canva Magic Write by on the right hand side, you're going to see a little icon that's Canva Assistant. It has a series of four different stars. Click on that. And then the first thing you'll notice that pops up is Magic Write. Go ahead and click that. Now, watch this. Use five or more words to describe what you want to write. Okay, perfect. So say I want to add text on this site right here or on this page right here. Let's just go ahead and tell Canva what we're looking for and let Canva do all of the heavy lifting for us. So I'm going to choose write about the importance of having a good website. Once you have that, just hit generate. And then there you have it. Now, I wouldn't always depend solely on the AI, but let's just say after we did some edits and everything, this is exactly what we want to have on there. It doesn't look as good. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go over on the left hand side and click on element. And I'm going to now I'm just actually going to add a shape to it. So I'm actually going to hover over this shape right here and expand it, make it a little bit larger. So once you expand the shape over the text like this, you'll notice that the text disappears. Now what you want to do is just hit the position tab at the top, select layers, and now just bring this shape down below. So that way now the text stands out, but it still doesn't look as good as it should. Let's change the color up by hovering over it, hovering over this color selector here. And then down below right here, you can see it says photo colors. 
what this does is that it selects all of the similar colors resembling the actual image right here. So go ahead and choose one and then pick one that you think might look good. This one looks pretty good to me, okay? But again, it still doesn't look perfect. So let's go back over here to this image and now let's go ahead and change the transparency a little bit, toning it down to make sure it blends in more. And now that does look much better. So at least this way now I could see the text a little bit easier it's still transparent enough as far as the shape to where I can see the image behind it, and it does a pretty good job. Now, you can adjust the transparency back and forth and get it a little bit more to your liking, but for now, this works pretty well. So another thing, while we're on this page, whenever somebody scrolls down, you really want your items to stand out. So let's just go ahead and create an animation. So if I click on this text right here that I just made, and at the top, you'll see an option that's called Animate. Go ahead and click that, and let's make this text animate whenever somebody scrolls to this page. I'll look at rise, I can look at pan, and you can look at different variations to determine which one might look the best for you. So now we have an animation added, and you can do that with anything. You can do that with any text boxes or with any sort of images that you're adding. But now let's talk about using AI text to image. Now that we're on this slide over here, on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and select apps. Go down to where you see where it says most popular, click on text to image. Let's say we want to replace this image with something else. That's all we have to do. Select open. And now let's just type in anything else that we're looking for. A futuristic city with vibrant colors. Just hit enter. Okay, so just wait for a little bit for Canva to generate your AI images. And then there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with the first one. So now if I want to replace this image right here, just simply click and drag it within that box. And then there you have it. Now you can go through a few of these and then you could do the same thing. If I don't like this image, we could try something else. So now I change it up with a photorealistic image of an owl and say I like one of these images a little bit better, do the same thing, click and drag it. Now look at that, that looks pretty cool. These actually don't look bad at all. I like that, man, that looks pretty good. Okay, so moving on, this might be one of my favorites. Using the smart mockups. So if you notice this phone over here, this is a mockup with the dashboard from Leonardo AI. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and show you exactly how I made this. So now I'm on a blank web page like this besides this text. So now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is again, over on the left-hand side, click on apps. So you can either type in where it says search Canva app, you can type in mockup and it will appear over here. So click on mockups. And so the next thing you wanna do is just select what type of mockup you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for smartphones. So select see all, once it drops down, now go through a few of the different options you have. So let's go to this one right here and just click on it. And now just expand it by dragging on these corners and expanding it a little bit. And then there you have it, there's your smart mockup. So now, how do we get the image we want to appear within this phone just like this? Simple. Go back to your uploads and you can either add a photo of your own or you can choose any other photo you want that Canva has as far as a stock item is concerned. Let's go ahead and add this bear right here with the sunglasses. All you have to do is just click it and drag it. Just drag it over the phone and then just let go. And it's just gonna automatically appear like that. Now, it's in there, but you might be thinking to yourself, that doesn't really look that good, it's squared off. So if you wanted to fill up the entire phone, all you have to do now is in the top left hand corner, select edit. And once you select edit, select image crop and then fill. And then just like that, it's gonna fill up the entire phone like that. And you could also adjust it and move it around a little bit by selecting the alignment, left, right, horizontal, vertical flipping. But for now, this looks pretty good. And now we have a mock-up in the form of an iPhone right here on the slide, pretty cool. And then the other thing that's pretty cool is the ability to add internal links. If I click this one right here on this box, you could see that that I have it linked to the home page. So when I have this actual site live, once this is clicked, it can go to a home page. Now, I wanna move on to something that's really cool and pretty impressive. Using the YouTube app to add any YouTube video directly on your page as well. Now check this out. Let's go ahead and add a completely new slide from scratch. And at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this plus button. And this automatically added this page to the very last one. I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag it and add it between eight and nine. And the next thing you wanna do is go back to apps over here on the left-hand side. Select apps and then just type in YouTube. Now this is pretty cool. Select the YouTube app. Now watch this. Once you have the YouTube app activated, you can actually search for any YouTube channel that you want and then embed any video directly on your Canva webpage. Now watch this. I'm gonna come over here to the top search bar and I'll just type in my YouTube channel right here, Metrics Mule. Go ahead and hit enter to search for Metrics Mule and then there you have it. I can now scroll through all of my 
videos and then just select one by simply clicking on it it's now on this actual web page so i can make it larger or smaller i can actually have it take up the whole entire page if i want and then there you have it so far so good this looks amazing and there you go it plays it perfectly right here on my web page awesome now we're reaching the end of our site and at the very end i want to give you guys a prompt to use to help you and guide you along with creating some nice ai generated images this one is used for chat gpt and mid journey I want you to act like a professional mid-journey text-to-image prompt engineer. Help me generate a prompt for performing this task. Just add anything that you want. Generate two different prompts to give me variety to choose from. So let me go ahead and show you what this prompt actually did for me. And I used it in ChatGPT myself. And my description was, create images of a futuristic world with flying cars. And then I said, generate two different prompts. Now, here we go. Here are my two different prompts. Sprawling cityscape of the year 2100. Gleaming skyscrapers, tower above. We have that. And then we have number two. Imagine a future where the boundaries between land and sky have blurred. And so I could take any of these prompts that I want, copy and paste them. Them, and then head over to Midjourney, copy and paste them into Midjourney or Leonardo AI, and then get me some very good AI generated images to use on my Canva website. So now this brings us to our last page, and the last but not least final step is to preview our website. In the top right hand corner, I'm going to select a preview button and it automatically gives me a preview of what my site will look like. Now you notice it says with navigation, so that's automatically going to show me my homepage, about and my features page. And I'll show you why this is important in a second. Let's first scroll down to our website and take a look on how everything turned out. So I have the video right here. The video will play if I hit the play button and it will also automatically play if you want it to as well. And so let's scroll down and we have the animations working. Okay, the animations look pretty good. There is my video. Now this video was automatically playing. Definitely captivating, definitely eye-catching. We have the Canva Magic Rights section. This text actually turned out really well. The AI to text page. The owl looks good as well. The mock-up looks amazing. And then I have my different tabs. And like I said before, I can click this link and it does indeed take me to my home page. And if I hit learn more, that takes me down to this page right here. So everything is internally linking perfectly. I have my video right here that's available to be watched. Here's my prompt page and then that's it. So one other cool thing I wanna show you is again, over on the right hand side, if I hit that mobile button right here, now I can see how my site will look on a phone. And as I scroll down, I can look at everything. Awesome. It automatically makes it responsive. The dimensions fit perfectly. I'm incredibly happy about that. How do I get all my pages up here? So since I have a lot more than three pages, how come only three are showing up? I'll show you why. So let me exit out of here. And that's just as simple as naming your pages. So notice over here at the bottom left hand corner, if I hover over the first page, it's entitled home. Number two is about. Number three doesn't have a title. Number four doesn't either. Let me just go ahead and hover over this one, add a page title, okay? Now it's entitled AI, simple. Now, since I actually added a title to that specific web page, it automatically brings it up in the navigation menu and creates an internal linking system. I hit AI and then there it is, there's features. So once I exit out of here, once you go ahead and rename each of these pages, so it doesn't say just page five, page six, page seven, once you actually give it some real names, it's automatically gonna appear in that navigation menu, just like a real professional and innovative website should. So let's say we're all done with our website and we're ready to publish this thing. The next step is on the top right hand corner, just select publish website and it's gonna give you a couple of options. Resize on mobile, definitely yes. I definitely suggest having it with navigation. And then you could choose free domain, purchase a new one, or use my existing domain. Let's go ahead and select free domain and then select continue. Once you go over to this next section, it now allows you to name it. I could even have it be my first name, eric.my.canva.site if it's not already taken. You can name it any URL you want. When it will be a Canva URL, it will always have the my.canva.site at the end, but that's fine, especially if you just want a quick website to make. And then again, it also has some SEO and then metadata, meta descriptions features to it. And then you can make it password protected. And then again, here's our final product. Everything turned out perfectly. The other added benefit is that in the top corner, 
select this little graph icon called Insights. Once your website is published, you're actually going to get some real insights just like you would, let's say, using Google Analytics. Now, again, it's not going to be that detailed, but if you don't need that, you're just looking for simplicity, this does a great job. You can select it by 7, 30, 90, or all time, and then you can look at the views in real time, views by country and device, traffic, and then engagement on your site, and it gives you all the statistics that you would get with any other professional website. Now, mine doesn't have this yet because I haven't published it, but once you published it, you have some visitors, some traffic, and some engagement. This insights menu is going to be priceless for you because you're going to be able to watch your visitor behavior and insights. And so this is going to work perfectly. So hopefully that can help you build your very own website, especially if you need one done pretty quickly and you don't want to go through all the hassle of hosting and technical aspects yourself. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Make a website in 10 minutes. I'm